Okay. An employer does not establish uh, entrapment if the employer was predisposed to violate subsection A of this section and the and the law enforcement officers or their agents merely provided the employer with an opportunity to commit the violation. It is not entrapment. Where's my Barry White? It's not entrapment for law enforcement officers or their agents merely to use a ruse or to conceal their identity. The conduct of law enforcement officers and their agents may be considered in determining if an employer has proven entrapment. Not a picture of me. No. It's that one too. An employer shall not intentionally employ an unauthorized alien if in the case when an employer uses a contract, I'll force her to turn the music down a little bit by sitting right over here. Subcontract or other independent contractor agreement to obtain the labor of a game in this case. The employer intentionally contracts with an unauthorized alien or with a person who employs or contracts with an unauthorized alien. That's got to be the longest intro in the history of music. I really think this. How long was that? I know, it was like a minute. Like, Tom Petty's Running Down a Dream has the longest outro. I think we just discovered the longest intro. Dominic, you're not allowed to make camera changes. Take it off. <laughs> Dominic's on my side today, y'all. Uh, the Attorney General shall prescribe a complaint. <laughs> Or to have the complaint form notarized. On receipt of a complaint on a prescribed complaint. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, this bill has been pretty simple to understand. But not there. On receipt of a complaint on a prescribed complaint form. That an employer allegedly intentionally. You can't have two L-Y words back to back. Allegedly intentionally. just sounds bad. Employs an unauthorized alien. The attorney general or county I'm attorney. I'm pretty sure a student asked you for your comments and probably, just to read it. Yeah, probably right. Uh, shall investigate and whether the employer job of either. has violated subsection. Hey, that hurts. Of what this what did you just say? If a com- it was Hold in on, here. It, it says it hurts. That hurts right here. Uh, if a complaint is received but is not submitted on a prescribed complaint form, the attorney general or county attorney may investigate whether the employer has violated subsection A of this section. The subsection shall not be construed to prohibit the filing of anonymous complaints that are not submitted on a prescribed complaint form. The attorney general or county attorney shall not investigate complaints that are based solely on race, color, or national origin. Eric Holder. A complaint that is submitted to a county attorney shall be submitted to the county attorney. Oh, in the county in which the alleged unauthorized alien is or was employed by the employer. The county sheriff or any other law enforcement agency may assist in investigating a complaint. When investigating a complaint, oh, this is getting good now. The attorney general or county attorney shall verify the work authorization of the alleged unauthorized alien with the federal government pursuant to 8 United States Code Section 1373C. A state, county, or local official shall not attempt to independently make a final determination on whether an alien is authorized to work in the United States. An alien's immigration status or work authorization status shall be verified with the federal government pursuant to 8 United States Code Section 1373C. A person who knowingly files a false and frivolous complaint under this subsection is guilty of a Class 3 misdemeanor. If after an investigation, the attorney general or county attorney determines that the complaint is not false and frivolous, 
the attorney general or county attorney shall notify the United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement of the unauthorized alien. Cough button. Ah, alien. Where would I, where's the last alien I saw here, alien? Oh, the attorney general shall notify the appropriate county attorney to bring an action pursuant to subsection D of this section that I crumpled up and threw on the floor somewhere. If the complaint was originally filed with the attorney general. Oh, no, we're just getting to D. Here we go. An action for violation of subsection A, that's on the floor. Of this section shall be brought against the employer by the county attorney in the county where the unauthorized alien employee is or was employed by the employer. That's convenient. Uh, The county attorney shall not bring an action against any employer for any violation of subsection A of this section that occurs before January 1st, 2008. (laughs) Simpler times. Uh, A second violation of this section shall be based only on an unauthorized alien who is or was employed by the employer after an action has been brought for a violation of subsection A of this section or... Section 23-212, subsection A. I have not made one shot in the basket yet. Uh, For any action, are you supposed to be here until I'm done? Because it's going to be a while. I just want to warn you, Sarah. Throw them back. I'm trying to get these in the garbage can here. I'm starting a war. Uh, For any action in superior court under this section, the court shall expedite the action including assigning the hearing at the earliest practicable date. Why can't they just say practical? I, I've never seen the word practicable. It's like extra letters taxpayers had to pay for. Uh, on a finding of a violation of subsection A of this section, for a first violation, as described in paragraph 3 of this subsection, the court shall order the employer to terminate... Oh, now it's on. Or stationary period for the business where the unauthorized alien performed work. During the stationary period, the employer shall file quarterly reports. <sighs> <coughs> And the form provided in section 23-722.01 with the county attorney of each new employee. That's a weird sentence. Uh, Who was hired by the employer at the business location where the unauthorized alien performed work. Order the appropriate agencies to suspend all licenses. Described in subdivision D of this paragraph. It's not a paragraph. It's like one content. That are held by the employer for a minimum of 10 days. The court shall base its decision on the length of the suspension under this subdivision on any evidence or information submitted to it during the action for a violation of this subsection. I'm Barack Obama hand my left hand over my heart uh wasn't the american flag just up there yeah there we go yeah okay uh the court shall base its decision on the length of suspension under this subdivision on any evidence or information submitted to it during the action for a violation of this subsection and shall consider the following factors you ready these are the following factors they're factors that are following if relevant it notes The number of unauthorized aliens employed by the employer, any prior misconduct by the employer, vague, the degree of harm resulting from the violation, whether the employer made good faith efforts to comply with any applicable requirements. Oh, a paper ball just went behind the computers. That will be there. That's like a time capsule now. The duration of the violation, another line Jesse Jackson would like to read, the role of the directors, officers, or principals of the employer in the violation. I will say somebody did spell check this. 
I'm, I'm quite impressed. Any other factors the court deems appropriate? Order the employer to file a signed sworn affidavit with the county attorney. The affidavit shall state that the employer has terminated the employment of unauthorized... Hmm. Rewind that one. Unauthorized aliens. Whew. Technicality could have brought the whole thing down. In this state, and that the employer will not intentionally or knowingly employ an unauthorized alien in this state, which presumably we're still talking about Arizona. Uh, the court shall order the... Uh, whoa, I want to see this effect. Oh, yeah! Do it again! I want to grab me some money. Oh, yeah, we're okay. 